Right, folks, welcome back to the Panzer. So, uh, as some of you will have seen from the previous videos, we've been working on the motor controller. But the weather has been so fine lately uh, that I decided it's time to get out to the actual car and to uh, do some of the mechanical work. So, as we discussed in previous videos, uh, the E31 uses um, hydraulics not only for the power steering but also for power brakes through the use of a hydroboost system and uh, so it's quite an important part of our conversion process that we uh, devise ourselves a system that can provide sufficient um, pressure and quantity of hydraulic fluid uh, to these systems. So, in order to do that, uh, some months ago I purchased this particular pump. Uh, this pump came from a 2004 Opel Zafira 7 seater people carrier. And like a lot of these electro hydraulic power steering pumps that we see on cars now. It is actually powered by its own three-phase AC motor and a dedicated controller. Uh, this pump is very popular with the drift car scene and modified car scene um, and also in some of the custom builds uh, where people are looking to fit um, electro-hydraulic power steering systems. Now, in our previous conversions, we used a kind of ubiquitous Toyota MR2 power steering pump. And uh, it works quite well in the e E36 compact, but it is somewhat underperforming in the larger E39. So before I was to go ahead and you know, start making brackets and installing this pump permanently. Uh, what I decided to do was to plumb the pump in and just literally hold it in with a few bungees. And we're now going to fill it and we're going to just run it from that red 12 volt uh, lead acid battery. And we're going to see if we start getting power assist on our steering and on our brakes. Now over here on the kind of hydraulic distribution block there is this electrical connection and this is a pressure sensor uh, that illuminates a light on the dash of the car that basically tells us um, if we have sufficient hydraulic pressure in here to run the, the brakes in particular. So I'm not honestly certain what's going to happen here. Um, but we're going to basically try this out and see if the pump can make sufficient pressure for us. I'm hoping it will on the grounds that it does have a pressure sensor and it throttles up and, d and down to maintain um, a particular pressure set point. I've also got a, a hydraulic pressure gauge uh, that goes up to <coughs> about 1600 psi on the um, high pressure port of the pump so we'll be able to see exactly what's going on from a pressure perspective and I'm just using standard hydraulic fittings um, to bring a, just a hydraulic flexible hose uh, to bring the hydraulic fluid under pressure into the distribution block. Uh, the fitting into the block is a 16 millimeter uh, so we just got a 16 millimeter 238 BSP fitting in there with a copper washer. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some fluid into the system here. And we will start running it and uh, see what actually happens. And uh, you guys are going to be along with me for the full story here. And hopefully we, we won't get too many leaks. So I'm going to start off by putting some fluid into the actual reservoir on the pump. Now, we will be using the main re reservoir here, and when the pump is installed properly, it's going to be installed down there, so we'll be sealing off the 
filler lid here but just for the purposes of actually priming up the pump um, we'll just go straight in and the fluid I'm using is what's recommended by BMW it's a CHF or central hydraulic fluid and it's green so um, she's also good because there was some traces of the original fluid in this um, in this pump and that was indeed green as well so a bit of luck um, we shouldn't have any compatibility issues here so this does seem significantly lighter than uh, normal ATF which would be usually uh, employed in these type of systems so the pump is actually connected to the 12 volt battery there and there's a kind of a signal wire that um, that is used to uh, start it which is very handy for us when we actually get the uh, when we actually get the uh, the system set up properly assuming this pump actually works for us just ran away there for a second I just want to uh, let's actually take out this little filter it's kind of slowing down the filling on me here a little bit more than, than I would quite like um, I'm sure I'm going to get a little bit of that fluid somewhere no matter what I try to do I'm going to give this a good fill up and we start the pump obviously the fluid is going to start circulating and we'll have to uh, we'll have to uh, kind of see what happens so let's let's give this some uh, let's give this some spin yeah we'll just clip it on to that Food. Oh yeah. Oh, I've got pressure. You got some hydraulic pressure here, guys. Oh yeah, 400 psi of pressure. Oh. Pump's got a little prime on it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Glad I had my uh, hopefully we'll get circulating here. A little bit of pressure. Are we actually circulating? I think we are, yeah. I actually think the pump's running here, guys. I think our system is kind of bled out. So I've got, uh, I've actually got pressure here. Alright. We're now down to, we're running at about, uh, oh, I guess maybe 20 or 30 pounds per square inch. I'm going to shut you guys down and bring you in and let you see the pressure gauge while I move the wheel around. Alright guys, we're running. The low pressure here. So, we're actually getting fluid circulation going on here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is try and turn the wheel in the car.
Hope I got a good brake pedal there as well. You guys have been seeing the pressure anyway. I just got my uh, blue gameter here, which I happen to have handy. See how much juice we're drawing. In our DC line, drawing 16.4 amps right now. So I'm going to top up the fluid a little bit there. It's a little low. We're probably letting air out of the system when I'm doing the steering as well. It's two litres of this stuff in there now. I'm going to turn on the key and see if our, uh, if our life, if our brakes have gone out. My uh, crappy 12 volt battery is probably uh, crapping out. But it looks like this is a goer, folks. Okay guys, so we're on the fluke meter. I just go for one more shot. Absolutely battery. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm also pleased to report that it's obvious that our accumulator is still working. Um, 
because we get about three or four pumps of the pedal before the pump has to repressurize the hydraulic accumulator. So that's all good. Let's disconnect and we'll wrap this up. folks power steering and power brakes for the Panzer in one easy step uh, I know that it's going to mean now that I'm going to have to drain this all down and properly install the pump but I think it was a worthwhile exercise because had I actually found uh, that the pump couldn't run the systems or just couldn't deliver enough fluid flow to, uh, you know, to turn the wheel. I was basically turning the steering wheel just with the flat of my hand in there from lock to lock. There's uh, two four fives on the front of this car, and it's pretty much sitting here um, completely stopped. So I'm very happy uh, that, that that pump. Uh, can actually supply sufficient flow and uh, pressure to run our power steering setup. And perhaps more importantly, um, it can supply enough flow and pressure to run the power brakes also. Uh, you could probably see, particularly when we were uh, looking at the pressure gauge, that as I would pump the brake pedal, pump wouldn't have to do anything but then all of a, all of a sudden the pressure gauge would just go up, go up and you'd hear the pump load up and then there'd be a click and it would just drop the pressure back down. That's because underneath the left side headlight here is a nitrogen filled accumulator uh, that basically stores the, the hydraulic fluid under pressure. Uh, to run the power brakes. Uh, that is done so that in the event of a sudden engine f engine failure uh, that you can safely coast the car off the road and still have power assist for three or four uh, complete presses of the brake pedal. Uh, so I'm very pleased that that's actually working uh, because God only knows in this country where I would get um, an accumulator like, like that or get it serviced or re reconditioned. Uh, so very pleased with that, pleased that our pump works. Uh, yeah, we had a couple of leaks there. Um, I've got a couple of drip trays under the car just to catch all that. But uh, very pleased with this. So the next phase of this oper operation really is to get that pump properly installed uh, and get all the plumbing sorted out on, sorted out on it. But um, yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll be back with some more Panzer videos. Um, hopefully now fairly regularly. Uh, that we seem to be getting into a bit of fine weather. So stay with us. More to come.